Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Trini Montana. This is the first episode of my podcast. I'm super excited to get into it. So of course, I have my the very first guest of my podcast. Drum roll please. For a thing, Montana. I was good with y'all. I already know this. It's your big boy, big fella, man. I already know. So we was like, oh, he was like, let's make a video, and we was like, let's just start my podcast. We'll be waiting for it. So it's time to get on grind time. So basically, you're gonna give us an update on what you got going on on your music. You don't have to say too much, and then I'm gonna start asking you some questions from my point of view, and what you would think about stuff from your point of view. So let's get, let's get into it. All right, so what's the first question? So what you been up to? Like what what's been going on with your music? Should I tell them what's really been going on? <laughs> <laughs> Should I tell them what's really going on? Like, people gonna think me crazy, so uh -huh. we're not gonna tell them too much. But you know. All right, so so I got a lot of things in works right now. Like I'm 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 coming up on a surgery in April, so I'm gonna be down for about three months. So I've been trying to like build content, 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 because in this time. I'm really, I don't want to leave y'all with nothing to, like, to look forward to, so I got, like, I got about six music videos on the way for y'all. I'm just trying to, you know. And one including me. Oh, yeah, one including Trent. So, yeah, y'all seen a little snippet, so yeah. I got a whole lot of music videos coming for y'all. I got some songs coming, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going somewhere this weekend to, to shoot a uh, music video outside the state, so I got some content for y'all. Y'all just, just give me a little second. Um, yes, on that, he's getting surgery, I'm getting surgery, but his is a little bit more extreme than mine. I'm just getting some mouth surgery. He's getting, you know, his little important surgery. So we got a lot going on. So you want to talk about the accident say no? Oh, yeah, give us a little, like, what happened to you? Like, tell us what's going on with you. Like, what happened? What made you have to get surgery, okay. if you don't mind sharing? So, about a week after I dropped the music video, Adidas. Yes. Like, literally, like, seven days. I was in a real bad car accident. The day I, you got the tattoo or the day Oh, yeah, the day, I got, the day I got my tattoo, y'all. The day It was, like, a few hours after I got this. This one right here. You know what I'm saying? My tattoo even got messed up because of the car accident. Like, it didn't get messed up bad, but I wasn't able to take care of it properly. So, it's a little faded and stuff. But, like, a few hours after, y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, I was in a bad car accident a few hours later. I fractured my pelvis, I got nerve damage in my foot, and I got, I tore something in my inner thigh. I'm not really sure what it is. I haven't been completely diagnosed with everything I have yet. Like, they still trying to go through the process and stuff like that to figure out what it is. But I couldn't walk for about, like, I couldn't walk for, like, three, three months. Yeah, like, three, three months. months. I was on a walker. Yeah, I got really my cane bad. right here. Shall I show them my cane? Yeah, show them the Shall cane. Show them the cane. It, it was pretty bad, guys. I was crying. I was really scared. Yeah, was A lot of y'all saw on my social cane, media, yeah. you know. But <laughs> oh man, yeah. so can I ask, um, mm -hmm. what was one of your what do you feel like? What was the pro of being in an accident? And what was the con? Well, I honestly, I feel like the pro me being in a con, uh, in the accident was it was just God trying to slow me down because I was moving like extremely fast. I was I was actually about to go to DC to shoot a video, and then right after that, I think I was supposed to go back to Atlanta to shoot. Like I was I was about to be gone. Uh, so so do you think it was humbling, or do you think it was just like a, I need to slow down? It was like a humbling experience, because also, like, during that whole situation, I wasn't able to move, so I was, like, I was in bed rest for, like, a month and a half straight, so I just was sitting there every day, like, dang, like, at first I was like, this wasn't even my fault, like, why this happening to me? It was like a mental thing, like, I, I was, I was like, I hated it, and then, you feel me, I found, like, I found the good in the situation. I realized, like, well, you know, there's other people like that, and you can't take certain things for granted, like, as walking, eating, like, doing you know, stuff take, by yourself. Yeah, you know, I could take sure. away any of that from you. Like, for so it was sure. a very humbling experience. Okay, so. Under the cons? Yeah, the cons. All right, the cons was, bro, I couldn't make no music, <laughs> bro. I couldn't walk. You couldn't mess with me and jump on my I bed. Could, bro, I couldn't even make my own food, bro, for like the first month. For like the first month, I used to have to. I had to pee in a urinal, bro, and somebody had to take to the bathroom because I couldn't get out of bed to go to the bathroom. Yeah. This shit, bro, it was like... It was really bad. It was very... It was it a was very depressing. humbling experience. Yeah, like, it was depressing. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Really, seriously. Okay, so... Um, oh, and also, I can no longer ride motorcycles anymore. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, a, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. No, it's not. Um, so, if you don't mind asking, how many videos do you have 
how many pills will you be dropping after you have your surgery? I probably I probably drop five after the okay. surgery because I'm only dropping I'm dropping one. I'm actually about to drop a I'm not sure if I'm gonna drop a, a video. I was about to say where I was going. <laughs> I don't know if I'm about to drop a video before I shoot this video in next week or Stay after tuned. when I get back. I don't know. So I may drop a video like on around the twentieth, the twentieth or the thirtieth. I'm dropping something at the end of, end of March because I'm dropping every two months. A video at least every two months. And then I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop one of course in April. That's my year mark for April's for birthday. Birthday going soon. Okay, so I just want to ask you, how do you, what is the a girl the girlfriend situation? You know how to ask you on my podcast. How do you feel about being in relationships? What is your mindset those. right now? I don't do those. <laughs> I don't do relationships. Okay, so like no girlfriend, no, no girlfriend. crush, nobody no crush. you talking to. Trying to, she's my hair. My mom is my number one, bro. Nobody. Else. Period. Don't play with me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so no girls, no like no, anybody not, interested. No life. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have no life. Literally. Okay, so what made you want to do music? Like, I know a little bit, but can you explain to them, like, what made you, like, how do you feel about music? The, the, like, music? like, how does the music make you feel? Why do you do it? All right, well, so music is kind of like, it's kind of like my gateway to get through life. I'm not a type, I don't really share a lot of emotions. I like to just keep everything bottled up. Not because like I don't like to share my emotions. I, I don't actually. It's I don't hard. like I don't like people feeling bad for, for me, me because what yes. can you do for my situation? Nothing. Nothing at all. So. I hate when people are like, what can I do to help? Nothing. Literally nothing. You literally like, can do nothing. Literally. Unless you're trying to get my mom a million dollars, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, nothing. And if you can do that, please let me please know. Please <laughs> hit me up, slide it into my DMs. You saw my, my tags back there. Uh, hit me up. <laughs> but I'm not sorry. it's like it's it, it helps me deal with everything. I'm able to Things I can't say in person, I can say in my music, and I can get off my chest so fluently. Like it help, and it gets it, it helps me escape from everything around me. And these last couple of years, like Been one hard. day y'all understand, cause I, I feel like I'm one day open up to the public about what was going on. But like one day y'all gonna understand, like it was a lot. I, it was it was definitely a lot. Like enough that make you want to go crazy, bro. Like I'm I'm trying to tell you, it was not like everything. Um, separate and this happened, this happened. It was like everything had at, at once. once, and it was really hard for yeah. us. And a lot of even our own family members don't really know too much because mm-hmm. we're very private about that. So. Yeah, and I think that's also made the accident so hard because I felt like I couldn't help my family as well. Like I was just watching everybody, you know, all this stuff going on, and like it was nothing I could do to help. And by me being the man of the house, like that, it do something to your pride. Like you're like, what the fuck? Like, like why am I? Why am I just in this bed? That's true. Okay, so since we're both on this social media platform now, you do YouTube and music, and I do YouTube and mm-hmm. other things coming. How do you feel about certain family members or people having things to say about what you do? How do you deal with That's it? That's a good question. So, because I'm very curious because I'll be ready to cuss people out. She's right, bro. Me, honestly. They blow the F out of me. I honestly, I, I, don't, I really don't. I really don't care about what nobody thinks. She knows it's like I I don't care like at all whatsoever. I, yeah, like one second. I don't care what people think. It's the part of like don't lie. Like you're making your own narrative <laughs> about things. You can say whatever you want to say about me, but don't lie. Like just don't lie. You're lying. But yeah. Yeah. So my thing is I don't really I don't really care about what people think too much. And also like you got to do it because it's what you love, not because of what people think. If you do it because what people think, you're not going to be so much successful. And it's going to drive you crazy because it's going to be like you trying to keep up with the latest and greatest and things like that. And y'all didn't know how many times I wanted to quit YouTube because of what people said. So you yeah. just got to keep But going. for real though, like to the family members out there and stuff, like it don't really bother me. I don't really care because I know once I once, once I do things like big and stuff, then y'all going to then y'all gonna be oh so proud of me and stuff like that. And I hate that it has to be like, like that. that. And it's not to all the family. It's like I have some We really love our family. family. Yes, seriously. It's just... The people that's not our family, but it's in our family, if that makes sense. But I mean, I don't really trip because, like, honestly, when I look at it, if you're not, if you're not help, if you know what we're going through, and you're not even help, helping us, like whatsoever, or, or nothing like that, your opinion doesn't matter to me. And mm-hmm. the people who do check up and make sure I'm good and help, make Love sure my mom is straight and stuff like that, their they don't have nothing negative to say, and their opinion, their opinion does matter. matter to me. But the people who 
who aren't making sure I'm okay on a day to day, or especially my mama, bro. Like, cause y'all yeah. know what's going on. Yeah, everybody like, know what's going on with us, and one day we will tell the public what's going on. But for all the family, y'all know what's going on, and yeah, nobody yeah. reaches out to us That's at all. Crazy. And y'all act like y'all. People always say, "Why do y'all act so stuck up?" And y'all don't want to deal with family. It's not that we don't want to deal with y'all. It's that we don't want to deal with y'all and y'all bull, y'all BS because it's y'all see if y'all see us at the bottom at the lowest we can get and we at the top what we what are you gonna do for us at the top that you couldn't do for us at the bottom I feel like so, it's disloyal because yeah. it's like it's it, it's like a simple how you doing could go honestly the yeah. wrong way that's like and I feel like if if we family like. Instead of talking about me, nigga, man, yes. maybe it's something going yes. on with me, bro. Thank you. Like, I don't like, understand maybe. how you could talk about your own family member that's a child to another grown adult family member. I just feel like deep, that's bro. so Too disrespectful. Deep, bro. Too deep, bro. <laughs> that is so disrespectful. I'm sorry, y'all. I got enough for this. But but for real though, like yeah, 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 yeah. And I haven't heard nobody say nothing about my sister, bro. But I don't play nothing about that. So. You feel me? Y'all might want to relax. Want, yeah, just, just chill out. <laughs> Tread light. I gotta say, I, I know, I don't, for people who really know me, I don't really speak on stuff. I don't like drama, not like that, but when I speak on something, you feel me? I'm going to speak one on thing it. About I'm going to address that situation. I'm going to press that situation. Yeah, one thing about us, we don't do drama over here. I mean, like, at all. <laughs> at all. We don't do drama. We don't do, commu- like, we don't do altercation. We're very peaceful over here. So when people would say stuff about us, I'm not gonna lie. When people say stuff about me, it does hurt my feelings because I just feel like you're a kid, bro. You could have said something, and right, I'm a <laughs> kid. Like I have feelings, you know, and I'm a girl. Anyways, so off that topic, let's get into a more positive topic. What do you have to say for everybody who talked down in your music, or for people that you were who would and kind of betrayed you mm-hmm. in a way? I don't want to go, you know, too into. Oh yeah. Too. So, like, situations like that, bro, uh, I can really just give y'all some, more so some advice on that situation. Like, when when you, when you, my grandma say, she say this to me all the time, bro, like, the people who, who the people who come with you or stay with you can't go with you, the mm-hmm. people here with you can't go with you, that's honest and awesome. true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the time, people, the people here with you can't go with you. And that's true, so, like. I'm not saying that you look at people or that all your homies or your bros or your friends going to switch, but, or maybe, or maybe I may fall out about something, but your career path is not their career path. You feel what I'm saying? So like, it, it may like, it, and, and, and more so of like, say if somebody like me say like, I stop, I stop hanging with you or I stop kicking it with you. It don't mean I got no beef or nothing with you. It's just that, it's just that. It, our time has expired. Like I gotta, I, I'm trying to grow. I gotta branch out and do different things. Like, and you may be holding me back and no type of disrespect, but I mean that's that's just the truth. That's how it is. So I mean, like, I don't even remember what the question was. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> but I just gotta say, for all the young boys and young people that has been through things and dealing with friend groups and things like nowadays, because. You know, people my age that I look up to that are boys and CJ, you know. Oh. How do you, like, how do you, ha- what is your advice dealing with friend groups and chain altering the middle school to high school in that aspect? Oh, altering to middle school to high school? Bro, listen. Because that's, that's about to be me in, like, The best months. thing I can do for y'all, I know y'all hear this a lot, bro, but be yourself, be bro. Be yourself. Because that person that you're pursuing and acting to be, be you're going to have to one day be that person. person. You feel what I'm saying? Like. So, so say you say, I, and I understand as it is being a black male, like how it is, bro. I feel like I don't care if nobody say being a black male is the, the hardest, hardest thing, thing to do on this world, bro. Because just being black, but being a black just male. Just being black is hard, but being, being a, a male on top male. of that, bro. Because you feel me? I know this shit that go on. You're not, you're not no sucker. I get it. You're not no sucker. You're not no, you feel me? You're not no, yeah. Like, yeah. I understand that is, bro, but. You don't. You don't have to be no killer. You don't got to be no trap. You don't got to be no gangster. You, you don't got to be, be hard, shit, bro. You don't have to be hard, bro. That honestly don't get you. Like once you see after you graduate high school and shit, I swear to you, I don't even mean to cuss my bad. You can cuss on my podcast for real. Yes. Oh, so that once I graduate, there's no high saying school, the B word oh, I got or the N word. I got. Uh, <laughs> But oh, you can I, say you can say it. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> once I once I graduate through high school, bro, y'all gonna understand it. Y'all gonna see that's not nothing, bro. What's really gangster is taking care of your family. It's it's nothing gangster about you going out here risking your life and you going to jail and now your mama, you feel me, you get life and now your mama gotta you feel suffer. Me, suffer from that. Or you go out here, you get killed 
And now your mama got to go through that. She got to pay the expenses behind that, bro. Like, funerals aren't cheap at yeah. all. If y'all was wondering, funerals ain't cheap. They're not Ooh, cheap. Hi. And your mama already struggling. Where's she going to get that money from, bro? Or or you go out here, or you go out here and do some crash dummy shit, and now and now they, they looking for you. Now your block hot. Now you putting your mama in jeopardy. Bro, there's nothing gangster about that, bro. And that's why... I know my music, I may talk about crazy stuff, like but, that's, and stuff. but that's my life, bro. Like, man, one day, eventually, I want to show kids, like, you don't have to do, you don't have to do none of that stuff, bro, because... And a lot of y'all don't. don't know the stuff that, like, I, me and my brother, CJ, didn't get the way my two oldest brothers got them to, my brother and him, we, we didn't get to see, like, all, much as he saw, but we saw a lot, mm-hmm. and... What is your advice? Because you never really talk about this, and I'm very curious. How do you feel about what's going on in the world with the police? You don't have to go too in deep, oh, but I treat us? yes, I just you never. We don't really talk about. We talk about it, but we don't really talk about it. You know what I mean? So yeah. how do you feel about it? Honestly, bro, like I feel like all all police all police are not bad. bad, bro. Like you keep that out of the air. Like all police are not bad. Not I know. I know some people who want to be a police officer to change the system. Like, mm, that's me. me. Like, <laughs> there, there's people like that. And you can't, you you can't, I don't know how to explain it. It is, it is scary though. Like, if I get, I've never been pulled over yet. Thank God. I don't ever want to be pulled over. That shit is actually pretty scary to be a black male. And I have a gun. I have a, I'm registered to carry a gun. I don't even know how that, I don't even know how that's going to play out, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm, For sure. I'm, I, I'm, I legally can carry, so I carry a gun because, like, I have done things in my life and, I, it's 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 it's, it's for your protection, yeah. Exactly. It's not me trying to be hard or nothing. I honestly encourage everybody to get a gun the way this world goes. Yeah, bro. for real. I, like, shit's crazy, bro. You gotta protect yourself and your family, and it's nothing to flash or anything. Be cool like that, but you know, I keep it in the seat. If I get pulled over, and uh, you feel me, I don't want the defense to think nothing. But also, what I do is, you don't have to pull over if you like at a road where there's no lights or nothing like that, bro. If you don't feel safe, fuck that, bro. You can you can call nine one one. Let these niggas know you don't feel safe and pull over to a gas station. station. I'm not stopping nowhere bro, but no gas, gas station, station, bro. I don't. They could put their lights on, chase me, bro. I don't care, bro. bro I'm not stopping nowhere stop but no gas, gas station. station, just in case anything happen. And make sure you call someone you love or anything like that. But that's why I also want to start doing like more charity and stuff like that, For so sure. I can start showing. Because I mean, if you look at it from their perspective. Let's just say, and I'm not even trying to be racist or nothing like that. Let's just say you see a, a, a let's say a white man who's never really seen the black culture, but what he sees on the internet, yeah. and then he see you, he may be he may be a little scared, bro. He may think you a gangster or something, or I don't know. You feel me? Like he may think you a killer or anything like that because they don't understand our culture. That's why I want to get some more into like, um, what's it called, like charity events and stuff like that. Uh, pause real quick. So, speaking of charity stuff, with the dyslexia thing, how do you feel about that, too, with charity? Charity and dyslexia? And dyslexia, because we do both have dyslexia, so how do you feel about that? With charity and dyslexia? Yeah, like, you said charity. Like, would you do a charity event for dyslexia? dyslexia? Of course, I'm all for my dyslexia. All okay, for... I'm sorry, I, I probably made you lose your train of thought, but... Yeah. Are you good? So, what I'm saying was, like, like charity events and something like that. So these, so these, so these, or these officers, and there's even black people who may have not, you feel me? They may have been sheltered and not really not understand know too much of black culture. Yeah. Yeah, and they could grow up in like a different culture. And so they could see us, my face, see me, just because I got, I got tattoos, dreads, piercings, yeah. all that, bro. But I'm not no bad person. I'm really a great person. I want to spread love and peace to the, to the world, bro. I'm trying to help. I want it, I want it to be, you feel me? I look at it as a kingdom, like. You feel me? I want to bring the kingdom together. So, like, you feel me? In order to do that, like, you got to hear what I'm saying, black people. We all got to come together. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we all got to come together with one. Our community has got to come together. Yeah, we don't really like the police with that in the word. But us hating them and starting riots and all that not really going to help. Not What's going to help is if, honestly, is, is if they can see us and see the, the positive we doing and all that. We don't have to speak to them. We have to talk to them. But... They see us doing positive and stuff like that. Like they see if they see somebody like you or like me, bro, and you feel me, we 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 help the community and shit like that. When they pull a nigga over, what you think they gonna think? They gonna think, oh he a thug, or they gonna think, oh he like that, or or he like the dude I seen who's trying to spread positivity. Mm-hmm. Like you gotta think, bro. Like and with the piercings and tattoos, because you know I am about to you know get my nose pierced for my birthday, and mm-hmm. a lot of people don't agree with it. How do you feel about the stereotypical, like, stereotype when it comes to piercing. tattoos and piercing and things like that? 
because I feel like they're not bad unless you use them in a bad way. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah. So how do you feel about it? But honestly, what I truly believe is like, I feel like honestly, with anything you do in life, depending on how, I feel like if your intentions are good and you have no bad intentions towards what you're doing, it that's between what you believe. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. Like the tattoos and the and the piercings and stuff, like that's what we grew up on. Like, yes. That's our culture. Seriously. That's also how we help express ourselves and things like that. I think like the older people, they don't understand that because it was like they were scared to be themselves and to be as free type thing. Like y'all tell us to do whatever we could be whatever we want. Like when we in school and stuff. And we do. So it. we try to do it, be our express, be be ourselves, <laughs> express it. Tattoos, piercings, and stuff like. And then, and then it's like y'all throw shade on it, which I don't understand. Yeah, really too speaking much. on that, how do you think? Okay, so older people, you know, we're younger. How do you think people, older people, like, what do you think when we do stuff? What do you think makes them feel like we're trying to do it for attention or to do it maliciously when that's not our whole generation? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, I don't. That's because they they don't understand that generation. They don't know how we grew up. Like, because me and my brothers, we're not. We're like we do stuff in our generation, I guess you could say, with the piercings and tattoos and stuff. But we're not bad kids. Like everybody always says, we're very we respectful and stuff. So like I don't understand how people can judge people and don't know them. Type. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, we still are kids, bro. Yeah. Like we still y'all be real. Hard. Like y'all should be hard on us. Like okay, yeah, we got you got tattoos, with all this other stuff, blah blah blah. I hear I hear it all the time. Like I just don't care though, cause it's me. Like and I feel like we get it the hardest. Because of our, our situation, yeah. I feel yeah. like we definitely get it the hardest. Right, we definitely do, but especially matter, like, cause it's 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 like I don't I don't understand. I get I don't I don't know. Like I, I guess they feel like it's a stereotype yeah. behind it, which I understand. Cause honestly, like they kind of they kind of stereotype us just as much as the police. Yeah. If you truly yeah, think about yeah. it. Yeah, our own kind, our own, our own kind. Like, but it's like they hate on us because I don't know if it's because we young, young or, because or we, we cool. We but yeah, like, bro, we don't like, care. We're trying like, to get yeah. this bag. Like yeah, I got tat. Like yeah, I got tattoos. All like I got tattoos, piercings, grills, all that chains. Like, but I still take care of my family. Like I'm about to go to college. <laughs> college. Like I'm not doing nothing. There's nothing I'm doing wrong. Oh, you rat too. Blah blah blah. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah. What's your point? But I still do what I'm supposed to do. So. I tr- if you know what you're supposed to do, like why does it even matter? Yeah. Like, as long if, but if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, bro, yeah, you get on your focus. Your focus, your focus is, is there. wrong. But if you're getting good grades in school, doing going doing the right thing, helping your mama out, and then you get your mom say, okay, you can get a piercing. Okay, you can do this. Okay, you can do YouTube. I don't see what the problem is. Seriously. Um, but I feel like I get it the hardest because I am the oldest granddaughter. Because you know, so I feel like I do get it the hardest. What is your advice? To me, like, bro, really, I told you, just don't care, bro. Like, no, because, like, ser- like, seriously, I, like, I seriously get the hardest because I am the oldest granddaughter and stuff. And people see me, like, they, with you, you had an older brother that was oldest, so it was already new to them. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But me, it's a little different. So if you were the oldest boy like, from the beginning, mm-hmm. how, well, how would you handle it? How would you handle it? But you're a boy, so it's a little different the way they look at girls, like what I wear and stuff. So, oh, I mean, you just can't care. You just got as long as you be in yourself, you can't really, you can't really think too much about it. Just you just gotta be yourself. Okay, um, so the purple dress, I gotta ask you about it. I don't think there's nothing wrong. How with it. how do you feel about the purple dress? Didn't you go out with me wearing that dress? <laughs> so how do you feel about the purple dress? I feel like she looks very pretty in the dress. Oh, that's so nice. Everybody, I, everybody you went out with me wearing the I know, dress, bro. Everybody thought something was wrong with my dress. Oh, it don't matter. So, I tell her all the time, bro. If it's not me or my mom, yeah, don't, it don't even matter. Like, their finger does not matter. I just had to ask you about the purple dress because people was like, I want to know how he felt. So you know how to ask you. Oh, well, if y'all want to, I felt like Trinity looked very pretty in a purple very dress. pretty to all the haters out there. Just saying. Anyways, so. What is your mindset going forward into this new year? Like, what are your goals? Some of your goals. Um, some of my goals. Well, let me see. I got, I got. Honestly, I got so many goals. But you for, can say five. Just for um this year, twenty twenty. It's not twenty twenty. Just for twenty twenty two. Um, no, just I mean, you can do both. Some going forward, not even this year, and some this year. Okay, so this year. I want. I'm almost at twenty thousand streams on YouTube. I want to be. I want to hit. My goal is to at least hit fifty thousand. 
I want to hit a hundred thousand, but my surgery is and I start. I'm about to start college soon, so I I know my I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to balance myself. I'm not gonna be able to just go straight hard on music. So I'm hoping to hit fifty thousand streams on YouTube. Um, another one of my goals for for this year is, bro, just to live life, bro. Seriously. And then next year. Next year, I plan on going out of the country with my family and stuff, so that's a goal. And then by the time I'm 21, I plan on having a $500,000 home in a Maserati. That's why. Yeah. Okay, so do you have, like, all right, what are some places that you want to go on vacation? Oh, you know them. Uh, yeah. Shirts and Draco's. No, stop. Okay. Let's go. For we everybody gonna, out there. We going to Shirts and Draco's. That's not how you say it. You <laughs> fool. Like, you about to make me go off when you on this podcast. It is Shirts it's and Draco's. It's Turks and Caicos, Sharks not and Shirts yeah. and Draco's. Turks and Caicos. Jerks and Draco's. Okay, so he wants to go to Turks and Caicos. Where else? Uh, I mean, we're going to Dominican, but we already been we there. We already been there. But, so, but I mean, I want to go to a different, I want to go to a different park, though, as well. That's what really a, that's what a, um, Puta Canta? Yeah, Puta Canta. I heard that's, I heard they have a waterfall over there, that's why I want to go. Yeah, we should go over there. I want to go there. The oh, what's, what's the nice place that we went? That we looked at YouTube video? Was it Jamaica? Or I mean, yeah, I want to go to Jamaica, Jamaica, but not, no, it was like St. St. Lucia. Yeah, I want to go there, bro. That's, that's yeah, really Yeah, St. Lucia's cool. pretty. Um, I want to go to Indonesia, but they don't want to come with me. I don't know why. It's too far. If, it's if like any, a, if it's anything, 30 hours on a plane. Yeah, if it's anything over like 12 hours on a plane, I'm not doing it. But you don't want to go nowhere, bro. I will go. Well, how about, how about <laughs> we do it? Like, we can split it up. Yeah, bro. we could take two separate planes, but yeah, I'm not going to be on a 30-hour plane nah, back nah. to back. No, nah, like what I'm saying is like, uh, but how we get, so like we spend like a week. We spend like a week somewhere and do the other twelve hours. Yeah, so, we can do that. The net, yeah, we can do it like that. But I'm not gonna be on twenty. But that means we gotta spend the block. And we got to spend the block then, because who's being on a plane for thirty hours? That's more than twenty four hours a day. You're wasting a whole day and some change. Bro, being I'm on tired a plane, being, a party pooper, being up on a plane. My mom, mom doesn't want to do it either. She doesn't. So and CJ, care. you think he's not doing it? You think he's doing it? She said, no, as long as this nigga can play, play his game, game, he can't he don't play care, his bro. game. Yes, you want to be a thirty hour flight plane, not be all first class? You're yeah. bugging. You're bugging. I mean, I feel what you're saying. Bro. You're bugging. I'm not. I'll figure it out though. But I do want to go to Indonesia. I do want to. I'm eventually. I'm going to go to Bora Bora, but I don't know if that's I'm something I would Bora take Bora. them with because I heard it's more of a romantical type of deal. And Bora Bora. Yeah, but I mean, I. But you said you don't do girlfriends, so who'd you take? <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm gonna get a dog. I'm gonna take a dog. So you dog. wouldn't I'm take get it. another Bronx. R.P. Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> my dog died. Y'all. It's not funny, but it's the sad. It's sad. the sad. The sad story. I'm gonna get my dog tattooed on me. Okay, so we're gonna do some, you know, talk about a little longer. Is there anything that you wanna, you know, ask me or anything you wanna share? Oh, okay, so what are you, what is your YouTube plans for this year? Oh, so my plans was last year. I'm not gonna lie to hit 1K, but I'm still at 300, and you know, 300, almost at 400. Mm -hmm. So I was, you know, that hurt my little pride a little bit. So I was like, I quit. But then, you know, I was thought about it. So my goals are to hit 1K at least by the end of this year. Okay. Get my podcast on the road and to just make a bag. Hey, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm. I'm. My goal is to get monetized this year. Yes, monetized. Yes. I'm like, bro, because I do music. It's a little difficult because I don't get as many watch hours as YouTubers. Mm -hmm. So I only got. I got like how many watch hours? You need? You, got, you need three thousand. Y'all, please try 3, to get three thousand. Three thousand and uh, over one k uh, subs to get monetized. What? But they just added no. another step two to it, so I don't know. They might I think I got. Time. I don't even think I got a thousand. Come on, YouTube, verify the Montanas. Come, Come on, y'all. Well we trying to make this bag, bro. Exactly, we bro. trying to make this bag. We trying to feed the fam. What is you doing? You niggas just hate They're some bro. selfish people, bro. This is this is not okay. Come on, YouTube. Hey, so, the Montanas. So podcast, dude, we could we could just upload them like this. You don't even gotta edit them. No, awesome. they're raw. Our podcasts are raw and uncut. Oh, I don't really know too much. Okay, so let me explain to you about my podcast. Oh, I was supposed to explain, explain to you about my podcast. Explain to me what a podcast. Okay, guys. So my podcast or podcast is just I'm going to be talking about real life situations. Of course, like this is like an interview kind of podcast. But next time I'm going to get more into depth about certain topics. Um, there's one more thing I want to ask you before you finish. But um, it's like I want to a podcast is just raw and uncut. I feel like you ask people questions and they tell you how it is, huh. and you just talk in a mic. 
That's it. It's really cool. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Cool. So, we should do this at once. Yeah, we are. That's what, that's what I'm going to do. One podcast episode game. of podcast. All right, so y'all. What do we need to do podcasts with on, y'all? We can just talk about things like, this is a question I want to ask you. It's probably the title of this video. How do you feel? What do you What do you think being a Christian? Do you think being a Christian, you have to go to church? Because, because you know how our family is. Mm-hmm. They, you have to be a Christian to go to church. You have to be a Christian to go to church. So how do you feel about it? Because we, our family is very, you know, demanding on how we feel. Mm-hmm. We don't, me and you, we don't really get to talk about how our opinions about stuff is. So how do you feel about it? I feel like, honestly, truly, I feel like you don't need to, you don't need to go to church. Me either. You don't I need to go to church if you're a Christian. That's honestly, I don't understand how that even makes right, that sense. That makes any I understand, sense. But I understand because the environment you're in, you'll be in other environments, other Christians and people want to do right. But usually that. in churches, it's drama too, so. There, I mean, yeah, there can be drama in church. I mean, there's drama anywhere yeah, you go. Yeah, seriously. Honestly, but, I mean. <laughs> Sorry if y'all hear my mom. She's so, <laughs> she's screaming at <laughs> I'm not a little smart here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no hitting ladies. How do you feel about hitting ladies? I don't agree with that. I if I see you hit a lady, I will beat the shit. Like, what, beat bro? the brakes off you. Exactly. But now I feel like you don't I feel like you don't have to go to you don't have to. If if the way that you are with with, with God, God is just you your feel, personal like, relationship. Honestly, I haven't been in church in a while, but I listen to gospel music yeah. every day. I read the And Bible. we pray. I listen to the Bible before I go to sleep. I Me pray. Too. Yeah, I would like to. It would, it would be nice to find a good church to go to, but right now my life is so crazy yeah. you know, and COVID and stuff. COVID. A lot of people haven't even been able to go to church. Yeah. So I don't feel like I don't. So and our person, church does live stream, but we had a situation, so we haven't been doing it. In a so couple I don't feel weeks. like I don't feel like you have to go to church to be a Christian. As long as, it, 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 like, if you're a Christian, you know, you know, as long as you write with God and you know how your stuff is, like, you don't. You the way the way that you learn about God and the Word. That's is between, up, you, that's and between God. you and God, exactly. Um, to you know, piggyback off of that. Um, but I think you should pray if, like, yeah. if, if that's what you, if if you feel like you want to go to church, pray about it. If like you I don't want to go to church, pray about it. Yeah, I feel like if you're a Christian, and you don't go to church. You should still do the right thing. Like you should still abide by the Bible. You should still read the Bible. You should still pray. But I don't feel like you have to go to church to clarify. Or to feel like God, I, I believe in God because I go to church. Because there's people that go to church don't that do not believe in God, mm-hmm. and there's people that do go to church, don't go to church, and believe in God more than people that do go to church. So I feel like it just sure. it just shit it shouldn't matter. I feel like that's being stereotypical again. Like I feel like they're trying to make something say this is how it have to be, or it's no other way. Mm-hmm. It, it can be different ways of certain certain things, not all things, but certain things. Yeah, I mean, also, because, I mean, I do say you're supposed to tie. I didn't go to church. And I still, I still tie, too. You don't have to tie to go to church. Like, you yeah, a church that you feel comfortable with and you feel like, like I said, it's just prayer about yeah. it, honestly. Seriously, prayer you could do tie to offering and still don't go to church. So yeah, that's what I do. I that's what I do, I too. Really <laughs> time we still send our stuff. Um, So, how do you feel about, you know, like, people and how do I want to write this? I don't know how to wear this. How do you feel about people and their opinions about you doing things you want to do? Oh, my God. Just... <laughs> oh, COVID. it's allergy season, y'all. Relax. Um, <clears throat> COVID doesn't even exist no more. Or <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that could be another thing. So, after you ask this question, like, how do you feel about people's opinions about you that's not true? Like, more like... Um, if they're not true... Honestly, I know how it was. When I was younger, I used to care about what people. I mean, as I say I didn't, but I did. Y'all don't understand the way but we get talked about. Like, <laughs> I just can't. You just can't care because, bro. Once you start being successful, what you're doing, you're gonna see people slowly hop on the bandwagon. Even the people who were having those negative Thanks. opinions and thoughts about you, which is completely crazy. And now because I've seen it a few times. I just like, man, I don't care. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do whatever I, I want to do. For the and the thing is, with the uh, whatever you do with your want, you're being disrespectful. Oh. So how do you feel about adults saying, you're, well, you're doing whatever you want, you're being disrespectful? How do you feel about that? And they say, when people say stuff about you is not true, don't care. So how do you feel about when they, that's kind of contradictory, right? Huh? When they say, I talk way too fast. Mm-hmm. When people will be like, adults, they say, don't care what people say, right? Mm-hmm. And then you say, they say stuff about you that's not true, and then you don't care, you're being disrespectful. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? Um, if there, if if somebody is talking, I mean, it's, it's different because you're a kid, so I understand. Um, when people are saying false things about you, even if they're an adult, like sometimes adults they be having stuff wrong with them, <laughs> and adults 
I don't understand don't how don't always be right. Always. Adults be they be they be tripping like all the time. All the time. And that's why people, that's why they, I guess other adults say, go talk to an adult about it because sometimes adults be tripping and if an adult needs to handle a situation because they're tripping, that's why they say that because adults be tripping. The adults be be bugging out. Um, I'm not going to lie, guys. I do not like adults at all. Like at all. At all. The only adult I like is my mom and you, Gabe, of course, Gio. And um, of course, my my grandparents, but sometimes they're annoying too. But how do you feel about COVID, that whole thing? <laughs> I feel like I was gonna ask you, but I feel like up all of it was a waste of my time, I, bro. Why y'all shut the whole oh, world, world down, down, bro? Yeah, we're not gonna go in our opinions about it because a lot of people will or will not agree. So we're just yeah. gonna go. I mean, I understand. Topic. I understand like what it was and, and all that whole situation. I had COVID. I understand and all that. I get it, but like I feel, I feel like the, I feel like we could have went a, a completely, completely different way. way to fix the situation if that was the case or whatever was going on. I listen. I know we could. I know America could have made that situation a lot, a lot better, better than what it was. Like it's like fact. the world went and without to trying to and and trying to force people to get vaccines. Mm-hmm. Even if y'all say it's not a force or not, if you fire me because I don't have a vaccine, that's a force, bro. Yes. Y'all don't see nothing wrong with that. What if? What if yeah, firing people who got kids, trying to take care of their family, all this, that, and the third. Just because they don't got a shot. And when they get start robbing banks and stuff, I don't want to hear nothing. None of that. Because <laughs> I don't. Because how y'all expect them to provide, bro? A man, a man, a real man gonna do what he has to do for, to provide for his family, and it doesn't. It doesn't matter, matter. what it is, it is, and that's how it should be, honestly. So I wouldn't agree with people if they was to start do wild things because because of that whole situation, because they need money. Like, bro, you need money to live in this day and age. That's really very do. true. Okay, so we're about to wrap up. Um, basically, huh, you want to ask me any questions? We can save some questions. What do you mean? It's like forty minutes. We can save some questions. You sure? You sure you don't want to ask me one question? You sure the train car? Oh, I'm so happy you asked that. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, so my dream car is an all black Range Rover with red interior inside and a Hellcat or a Mustang. I don't know why she watched those. Or a Mustang, a Hellcat or a Mustang, and maybe like a Jeep Wrangler, white with red interior inside or black. But yeah. Okay, guys. So thank you for for the Montana for chatting with Trent on my first episode of my podcast. Comment down below who y'all want to see on my podcast. When he'll probably be on a lot of my episodes of my podcast, probably all of them. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna, you know, wrap things up. Thanks for, you know, sitting your opinions. We hope that your surgery goes amazingly well. Thanks, I'll probably thanks, push thanks. you after you have your surgery. I'm be in the hospital, bro. So you gonna push me in the hospital? Yeah. I'm gonna um, get you locked up. I'm um, gonna be like, this so, is child abuse. So too far. Okay. All right. But thank, thank you for you know sitting with us. We appreciate you. Um, for everybody who wants to be in an episode of my podcast. I'm going to have, I'm going to make an email, a special email, podcast email for y'all to ask the questions y'all want to, you know, for us to answer and tell some people y'all want on here. I'm going to get my grandparents on an episode. I'm going to get my mom and some of my other family members on an episode. Um, so until next time, um, love you guys. Thanks for watching.